Hey guys, um, I apologize that it's always so echoey. I can just, I just, I wanted to film in a different room, but I'm like, eh, 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 fuck it. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna start the video out that way by saying fuck it within the first 30 seconds. Really? Hey guys, I went to Ulta today for the first time. I got off of work and I was like, you know what? It's early enough. I want to go to Ulta. I've never been there before and I wanted to get some cheaper makeup, but also have more options because the stores that we have around here, there's not a lot of options. Basically when you go into the store, there's the same stuff that was there the last time that you went. So I just wanted to try some different things and different products and kind of venture out. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I got lots of lip products, but I got a few other really cool things. Okay, let's start boring and then work our way to cooler because I want you to watch the whole video. So cotton pads. I just got these because I bought some that weren't these like flat ended cotton pads and it, they get those little hairs of cotton into your eyeball. Not really fun. <laughs> Next I got the Real Techniques sponge, your base flawless miracle complexion sponge. Let's take this bitch out of here. And you guys all know like I'm a beauty blender girl for life, but I have heard through a grapevine of YouTube that this sponge is better than a beauty blender because of this little flat edge right here. So if people aren't liars or if maybe they were getting paid to say that, I will be honest with you and tell you. So you shall know soon if this is actually good or if it was just a hyped up product and I will let you know. I bought, pretty much everything I bought here today was not based on an influence of anybody but myself. Um, I picked up the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Blending Crease Brush. I got this because, for one, it's fucking soft as shit. For two, it looks like a really good crease brush. I mean, it's densely packed, it's super soft, and I feel like this will just blend out uh, eyeshadows really well. So this was $14. Okay, now on to lip products because that is the majority of what I got. To start off, I got the NYX Simply Pink Lip Cream in French Kiss. It is this color here. My bangs are doing some fucked up shit. What's happening? That I go away. Is that cute? No. It's less crazy. French kiss, and that is it swatched right there. It is a cool toned hot pink. Not much more I can say about it than that. It is a matte lip cream. Is this matte? This matte? You matte? I guess we'll see. I also picked up the same lip cream in maraschino. That's the color there, and that's that color there. So it's red, like I needed another red lip color. And then I got the color Vamp, no, Bewitching. And that's that color there. It is just like a purple maroon color. <laughs> I'm really good at explaining colors. And then I clearly am on like this vampy lip phase going on here, but I also picked up the NYX matte lipstick in the color pure red. It's a very orangey toned red. Oh shit. Sun, there's that. It's matte, so I have a hard time with matte lipsticks. Tell me if you guys do too, but they make my lips look incredibly dry and gross. So why I buy them? Well, that's a great question. I, I honestly don't know. Why do I continue to buy them? This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Licorice, like this one. That's similar. I obviously am like headed towards fall year colors, if you guys didn't notice. What's funny to me, I said I've got like 60 lipsticks, right? I always buy these dark colors. Tell me how many times you've seen me wear them. Like literally, go back in my videos, tell me how many nude lips I'm wearing, tell me how many color lips I'm wearing. If you saw me wearing a colored lip in the video, pretty much because I put it on for that video and then took it immediately off. I love lipsticks. I love the colors. I think they're so beautiful. They actually look quite becoming on me. They really make my lips look bigger. Reason I don't wear them, 
they get all over my teeth. They get all over my teeth, they're maintenance, so I'm like at work, and not only like I don't have to be that, that concerned about it being on my teeth, but it's, it starts to dry out, starts to get cracky. I forget I'm wearing lipstick sometimes, and then I'll go in the bathroom mirror and like my lip liner is like fully intact, and then the inside of my lips is completely bare. I know I could put a stain on underneath or something, but I just forget or I just don't do it because lipsticks aren't supposed to be that high maintenance, but they're super high maintenance. So I guess we'll see with these if any of these are colors I'm actually gonna wear or not. They were cheap nonetheless. I think that on average they were about five to six dollars a piece, which is really not that bad. The two most expensive items that I did pick up today, I'm going to show you now. So these were the two things that I was actually really excited to get and maybe it was just because it's a hype, not hyped, but I don't have any limited edition items in my collection and so I picked up the Urban Decay Pulp Fiction line. I didn't get everything, but I just had to. And I talked myself out of this palette at first. I was like, I don't fucking need that palette. Why would I need another neutral palette? Well, the point is I actually, I don't, um, but there it is right here. So there's the outside of it, the Pulp Fiction. Does it seriously have the quote on the front of it? This is fucking baller. I'm sorry, but this is pretty baller. I'm not even gonna lie right now. This is pretty badass. It's got like a, the quote on the top of it from the movie. It says on the back here, be cool, honey bunny. And then when you open it up, it's got, here's the palette here. I'll be like the regular beauty guru and cover it with my hand. Here's the palette. It's got these four neutral shades in it. So we've got Righteous, Tyranny, Vengeance, and Furious slash Anger. And as you can see here, they're quite pigmented for Urban Decay. I mean, Urban Decay is really soft, velvety colors in general. And then you've got your black here and why they needed two whites. I will never know. But there are all the colors swatched. Um, I, son of a mother I talked myself into it because if you're gonna buy a palette, might as well be one that you use often. Will I use neutral colors often? Well, I do every day anyway, clearly. This would be a good palette to travel with. It's like that cardboard Urban Decay type of palette. I think this would be a good travel-y palette though, like in my opinion. How often do I travel? Never. That was like 35 bucks, I think. I know. I know. And the last thing that I bought, which is the thing I'm the most excited about about, about all of it. Is it dirty? It's not dirty, is it? Is that just the way the tube looks? Da fuck! This. This is the lipstick, the Mrs. Mia Wallace colored lipstick from Urban Decay, Pulp Fiction. For one, the packaging feels nice and sturdy. Yes, it is a red. Way better than all the other colors I bought. Not even gonna lie. So that is the red there. You can see compared to the other two that I bought, this is that orangey red that I talked about. That is Miss and Mrs. Mia Wallace, which is just a beautiful blood red lip. And that's it guys, that's what I got from Ulta. I liked Ulta. I prefer Sephora because I feel like they have a bigger selection, but if you want like a mixture of drugstore and high-end, Ulta's pretty cool. Because I'm feeling the blood red theme, I'm gonna go paint my nails from this blue color to this bloody ox blood red color from China Glaze that's called Ravishing Darling. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching. What do I say? What's like my thing I say at the end of my videos? Just lost it. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do I say? All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Is that what I normally say? Follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, if you have any request, if I, I keep saying that, if you have any video requests, leave them in the comments below. But I never listen to your requests, so I don't really know why I say that. I will see you guys at my next video. Bye. I got fucking eyeshadow.